The Bible says, So teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. We're going to get started with our math fact practice here on day 12. Um, it should look like this. Now, we are going to switch gears and start working on some subtraction. We've been working on addition for a while. So it's been a while since we thought about subtraction, but we're going to look at subtraction today. We're going to learn some new subtraction facts today. But we're going to start off by practicing here. What I want you to see when you look at this paper, there's a lot of math facts, and I have them up here too. There's a lot of math facts. The first one we have is a minus one. So let's do a quick review here. When you subtract one, it's like counting backwards. So if you had a number line, you go backwards, counting backwards. You remember we used to count backwards, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Same thing. So if you have a, if you um, are subtracting one, you're going to count backwards. So 10 minus one would be nine. When you have a minus two, you're going to look to see if it's an even number. If it's an even number, then you would go to the even number before it. So two, four, six, four is before six. So six minus two is four. If it's an odd number, you're going to go to the odd number before it. So like five is an odd number. So one, three, five, three is before five. Okay, so five minus two would be three. Here we have 10 minus 5. Well, when we're subtracting from 10, we can use the tools on our hands. Remember 10, take away 5, what do you have left? 5. Also, this is half of a double, which we'll talk about later. 5 plus 5 is 10, so you know that 10 minus 5 is 5. Again, we're subtracting from 2 from an odd number here, so you'd go backwards one. These are all things we've learned about in the school year, so I want you to remember those as you go through and work through these. It's going to take a little bit of time. I want you to remember you're subtracting. Make sure you're on the A side because we'll go over the A side in a little bit. Um, if you want an extra challenge, you can do the B side. You do not have to. Um, so I want you to take a look at the A side. I want you to work through these carefully. Um, remember if it's 6 minus 6, you're subtracting everything. So the answer would be 0. If it's 9 minus 0, you're not subtracting anything. So the answer stays the same. 9 is, minus 0 is 0. Okay, so take a minute to pause the video, and then we'll go over the answers together. Okay, hopefully you've taken the time to pause the video and think through each one. It's a little bit tricky, but you can do it. These aren't too hard for you. You're climbing that second grade mountain, so you're ready to go. Okay, so let's take a look at the answers here. First one, 10 minus 1 equals 9. 6 minus 2 equals 4. 5 minus 2 equals 3, 10 minus 5 equals 5, 9 minus 2 equals 7. Did you get those right? We went over those together when I first said it, so you should have gotten those right. Okay, let's take a look, take a look at the next row. 11 minus 2 equals 9, 7 minus 1 equals 6, 10 minus 2 equals 8, 3 minus 1 equals 2, 10 minus 8 equals 2. That's a pretty big one. It's kind of challenging. Hope you got it. Did you get all those right? Get yourself a little happy face or a star if you got them all right. 10 minus 6 equals 4. 10, 2 minus 0 equals 2. 10 minus 9 equals 1. 4 minus 2 equals 2. 10 minus 3 equals 7. So if you didn't get them right, just circle what you did get right. You can go back and put the correct answer later. This will help you remember. Okay, last one. And when you go to second grade, you're going to need to know these math facts. You say, I'm not getting a test about this right now. You need to know these math facts for second grade. So getting you ready. Stick with me. Hang in there. Let's check the last row. 8 minus 2 equals 6. 9 minus 0 equals 9. 10 minus 4 equals 6, 6 minus 6 equals 0, 10 minus 7 equals 3. Okay, so you can, if you need to, you can pause the video and check your work um, and fix any of them that you may have missed. All right, today we're learning a new subtraction um, fact. Okay, when we talk about facts, remember that facts are true and unchanging, and that reminds us about something about God. 
The Bible says, I am the Lord, I change not. And you remember that Bible verse from us being in school. So just like these math facts never, ever, ever change, God never changes. And that's an important thing for a time like this. You say, well, everything is changing. I go to the store with my mom and people are dressed weird or wearing masks or people on the news are talking about, well, things around us change, but even though things around us change, God never changes. And God gave us things in our lives that never change. Math, great thing about math, it never changes. It's always the same. So when you learn these math facts, Mrs. Zimmerman teaches you ways to be able to think through them, but they never change. You memorize them, the same facts that I learned when I was six years old, they're still true today. They never change, the same way God never changes. And we can find comfort in that because he never changes. So these math facts, I'm gonna, I have a set of Legos that I brought up from my basement where all the Legos are. Hope you've been playing with Legos too, they're a lot of fun. This is kind of like Lincoln Cubes. We're going to talk a little bit about um, subtracting. So, if you had to guess, how many um, Legos would you say I have in this tower? What do you think? Um, there should be ten. I'm going to count and see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, I'm going to look at my first fact here. And all of these are subtraction facts. We're going to find a couple of things in common about all of them in just a minute. All of these are subtraction so here we have 10 minus 9. So if we're going to, if it's minus 9, that means we're going to take away. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm going to break off 9. So 10, I had 10, minus 9. I'm going to take those away. How many is left? 1. 10 minus 9 equals 1. Well, that seems pretty simple. Simple enough, right? Okay, let's look at the next one. So I have nine left because I took one off. I broke off nine. Now it says nine minus eight. Hmm, nine minus eight. Those numbers are like close to each other. Like if I were gonna look at the like number line, I would say, oh, nine and eight are beside each other. Subtraction. Hmm, think about these things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna break off eight. So nine minus eight equals what I have left. One. Hmm. Very interesting indeed. 9 minus 8 equals 1. Okay, now I have 8 left. Let's take away 7. You ready? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Pop that off. 8 minus 7 equals 1. Again, what are the odds? 8 minus 7 equals 1. Are you seeing the pattern here? I hope you're seeing the pattern here. Now I have 7 left. 7 minus 6. I'm going to take away 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 minus 6 equals 1. Do you see how this is going? Anytime we're subtracting numbers that are beside each other, like for instance, 4 and 5 are beside each other. Now we can't take 5 away from 4, right? I can't have 4 Legos and break off 5. That's not real, right? They're... When you get older, they'll talk about doing things like that, but in real life, I can't do that. Um, four minus three, four and three are beside each other. When you're counting backwards, four, three, two, one. Three and two are beside each other. Nine and eight are beside each other. So anytime you're subtracting and the two numbers are beside each other when you're counting, the answer is always going to be one. Take a look at these. Six minus five equals one. What do you think the next one's going to be? 1, 5 minus 4 equals 1, 4 minus 3 equals 1, 3 minus 2 equals 1. We call these, my daughter left her sunglasses here. We call these differences of 1. The difference is the answer in a subtraction problem. So differences of 1. That means the answer to all of these problems is going to be 1. Now, I know if Sophia was here, or maybe Daniel with me, they would be the first ones to tell me, what we notice are the same about all of these numbers. And I already said it, so really you should have caught it. They're all beside each other when you count. 7 and 8, 4 and 5, 5 and 6, 9 and 10. So when you get your subtraction paper, you can go look at all of those that are beside each other. And any of those that are beside each other, you'll know, oh, that I know the answer to that one is 1. Because if I have 4 and I take away 3, I'm going to have just one left. 
If I have eight and I take away the next closest number, seven, I'm gonna have just one left. So anytime you take away, you have a subtraction problem where the numbers are beside each other on the number line, the answer is always gonna be one. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started now on our guided math practice. 